Hi again then guys and welcome to episode 11 of Super Sports, the review series for, as the name suggests, super sports cars. Those vehicles which are beyond normal level sports cars, but not quite on the same level as a full-on supercar. And this car, which is of course the Corvette C6 ZR1, is about as close to bridging the performance gap between super sports and supercar as you can get. It has performance which can give full-on supercars a great run for their money, so unsurprisingly it's one of the quickest in the super sports class. Now there are certainly other extremely fast super sports cars on the game, such as the SL65 from Mercedes, etc. But the Corvette really takes it to another level, because the Corvette has almost racing car levels of performance. In fact, I would go so far as to say that it does have racing car levels of track and straight line performance, in some cases even beyond certain racing cars. Now in terms of sheer spec, the ZR1 is definitely the ultimate Corvette. That was exactly what it was designed to be, the ultimate incarnation of the 6th generation Corvette model. And although it has now been surpassed by the 7th generation Z06, it's still a force to be reckoned with against the other Corvettes, newer and older. Now the engine, interestingly enough, is actually smaller in the ZR1 than it is in the Z06. The Z06 has a 7 litre supercharged V8, whereas this has a 6.2 litre supercharged V8. The smaller capacity does make it more inclined towards being more rev happy, and the engine produces a far more impressive spec than the Z06. Not that the Z06 is unimpressive by any stretch, but this car does have over 100 horsepower more than the Z06 at 1050 horsepower and significantly more torque at 950 pound feet. Combine those two huge specs into a car that only weighs 1,206 kilos, and unsurprisingly, you're going to get yourself a seriously rapid machine. Now, the power to weight ratio is an almost Le Mans prototype rivaling 871 horsepower per ton, and that isn't the only thing that's prototype rivaling. The straight line performance on the ZR1, as I think most people probably know by now, is stonkingly quick. The acceleration can keep up with the best of them on the game, even cars which are strictly speaking better on paper, and the top speed is over 290 without NOS or draft easily. So in a straight line it's certainly fast, but as we said, most people know that already. What's it like around the track though? How does it compare to the other generations of Corvette, newer and older? and also to other super sports cars in general. Well, against other super sports cars in general, it's very competitive. It's one of the strongest, not only in a straight line, but also in overall track performance. There are certainly cars that can give it a run for its money, such as the Viper ACR, the McLaren MP4, the Lexus LFA, more vehicles which kind of blur the lines, really, between super sports and supercar. But in general, if you put this car up against the more mainstream super sports models such as the Ferrari F430, the Lamborghini Gallardo, the Maserati Gran Turismo, etc., it's going to wipe the floor with those cars on most tracks, not only because of its straight line performance, but also because the 6th generation Corvette really made a name for itself beyond just America in being a great handling car, because before the 6th generation, the Corvette was kind of considered by a significant amount of people here in Britain at least as being just a typical bad handling American car, which is a shame because that's just not the case. The sixth generation Corvette however put those people to silence because it proved that the Corvette can be a track monster, not only in its street spec but also in the famous Le Mans C6R version. And this version takes that even further, so unsurprisingly, around the track, it is a force to be reckoned with. Now, one of the best things about the Corvette has always been the value for money, both on the game and in real life. They're very, very competitively priced, especially against their European rivals, 
which are known for being expensive. Think Lamborghini, think Porsche, think Ferrari. The Corvette is a lot cheaper than those cars. Now, the ZR1 is the most expensive version of the production Corvette that you can get on the game. It's over three times the price of the C7 Stingray. Is it three times better? Well, you'd have to decide that for yourself. Personally, I do slightly prefer the 7th generation, but the ZR1 does seem to be a massively popular choice with many people. And it's not hard to see why. It takes everything that was already good about the Z06 and cranks it up to 11, so that could never be a bad thing. Overall, at 184 grand, it's pretty well priced, actually. It's more expensive than the other Corvettes, but that's still very competitive against many other super sports cars on the game. And overall, if you're looking for a strong all-round sports car, it'll be hard to do better than the Corvette ZR1. So that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.